today we'll study tri-state circuits a tri-state circuit is a circuit which has three output states tri tri means tri means three by means two tri means three so for ordinary logic circuits we know there are only two states the output is either logic zero or it is logic one but for tri-state circuits, we have three states, and the third state is Z, which is a high impedance state. The high impedance state refers to a state which is neither zero nor one. But in fact, it is not connected when the input is not connected to output in any way. Right. The general structure of a knot that is a tri-state knot is given here. Uh, we have one extra terminal which is EN, where EN stands for enable. If we apply a one to enable, it works as an inverter. Right, the data is available at output F after inversion. But if enable is zero, the input is not connected to output the output is in high C state, high impedance state. So this is the table. If we set enable is equal to zero, the output F is not connected to the input at all. <clears throat> it is in a high impedance state. If we apply a one to the input, the output is inverse of the data, inverse of the input. Right. For How can we draw a CMOS representation of this knot? It's straightforward. We have to introduce two extra transistors. One of them is a PMOS transistor. The other is an NMOS. These are two extra transistors that we have to introduce in addition to the regular MP and MN transistors that we have in case of a CMOS knot. Right. What does these two extra transistors do? We have attached uh, an opposite, a complement of enable here, and enable as such is applied to the gate of M2. When we have enable is equal to zero, this means this has enable is equal to a one. So if we apply a logic one here, this transistor would be off, M1 would be off. And enable is equal to zero means that we'll apply a logic zero here. This means this M2 is also off. So both these transistors M1 and M2 are off. Therefore, the output is not connected to the input and is in a high impedance or not connected state, which we call as C or high C, the third state. But if we have enable is equal to a one, this means that that this would be uh, a bond and this will be a zero. When we have enable is equal to one, complement of enable is equal to zero. This means this transistor is on and this transistor is also on. And whatever is the input, if input is a zero, MP is on, if input is a one, MN is on and we get the complement of data at the output. This gate is on. These two transistors M1 and M2 are on. So for enable is equal to zero, they both are off. And if enable is equal to a one, they both are on. And the circuit works as an inverter. Right. Layout can also be drawn. Physical layout can also be drawn like this. We have we have this PMOS array. In PMOS array, we have two transistors, this MP and M1. And here we have this MP as yes, this M1. They are connected in series, so we connect them like this. But here the input is different. They both have data as input, MP and MN. They both have data as input, but this M1 and M2 have different inputs. The input to M1 is enable, complement of enable, and 
the input of M2 is enable itself. So we have to break this vertical line that represents the gate or pulley line. And then we connect these two transfers in series and the lower MN is connected to ground. The source of MN is connected to ground and the train of M2 is connected to the output. Right, and in the same way, we can implement even more complex circuits. So you can implement and to nor to and any given boolean expression using tri-state but this m1 m1 m2 gates would be there the regular cmos the regular pmos array of cmos will be implemented here and the regular nmos will be implemented here it's pretty straightforward but we have we will all we will always have these m1 m2 transistors and they will always be one if you implement a more complex circuit will not increase m1 from more than one it will always be a one the count of M2 will always be a one. So we'll always have these two transistors and the remaining arrays can be different. Right now we are going to solve a small exercise. It's an exercise for you that we want to implement a buffer. A buffer is a circuit whose output is the same as input. It's opposite to a not. So we are going to implement a buffer. A buffer is a circuit whose output is the same as the input, whereas for a not, the output is complement of the input. For buffer, the output is the same as input. So we are going to implement a buffer where, where if the enable is a zero, if the enable is a zero, we get the output. We want the output to be the same as input. We want output to be the same as input if enable is zero. Right. So we have if data is equal to zero, if we have set enable is equal to zero, if data is zero, the output is zero. If data is one, the output is logic one. BDD means logic one. It's the same as logic one. So we want a buffer where the input the output is the same as the input when we have enable is equal to zero and when we have enable is equal to one we want the output to be in high c whether whether the input is a zero or a one the output remains high c right so this second implements this whole requirement that we have mentioned here you can verify it at home that if we have enable is equal to zero, this means when we have enable is equal to zero, this means this is zero, this transistor is on, this is one, this transistor is also on. So both M1 and M2 are on if we have enable is equal to zero. So whatever is data, the complement of that data's complement will be available here. Data's complement will be available here and it is applied to a regular CMOS whose output would be whose output would be data again. So whatever is the input, the same we have at the output. But if it is logic one, enable is logic one, this means this means now we have this as one and this as zero if we have this pmos transistor where the gate is at one this means this m1 is off and if you have a zero here at the gate of an NMOS transistor, it's off again. So they both are off, and the output here is C. Instead of instead of this, the output is C. And if we apply Z to the input of a gate of a not, the output would also be C. So we get a Z at the output if we have set enable is equal to one, and whatever we apply at data, that doesn't matter. The output of this first gate is C and the output of the second gate is also C. 
Right, that's all for this lecture. We'll continue more about high-speed VLSI circuits in our upcoming lectures. Thank you.